Hello everybody! Welcome to Just Upright. My name is Doc Jean Ruder. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm a certified dementia practitioner. So today we're going to discuss the relationship between uh, dental health and the heart health or can be your heart or your blood vessels or what we call cardiovascular system. It's the relationship of your heart and your blood vessels in general. So I um, found a couple of uh, research studies uh, that directly link the dental health uh, to your heart health, okay? So we're going to dive into that, but first, if you haven't checked out our um, website, the justuprighttherapy.com, you can view the website and you can see what we do at Just Upright Therapy Services and uh, what who we partner with. And uh, we also have a store there that you can look at and we have the tried and tested products uh, for kids, for adults and older adults. And I also have the books that I have published there uh, for fall prevention, practical tips that you can easily do at home to improve your posture, to improve your balance so that you will be more steady when you walk and more confident when you walk. Uh, I also have book for a step-by-step -step guideline on how to become a licensed physical therapist here in the U.S. and uh, practical tips for therapists before they, they start their U.S. practice full of wisdom. Okay, so check them all out. They are available at Amazon.com. Okay, so for today's topic, oral health and heart health. Dental health and heart health. So this first study is from March 10, 2017. Evidence summary, the relationship between oral and cardiovascular disease. So just a clarification, when you say cardio, it means heart, vascular means blood vessel, okay? So let's jump into their conclusion. What did they find out in their, in their study? So it says here, there is high quality evidence to support an association between the cardiovascular disease and oral health, okay? okay. So this is the first study that I've seen, uh, you know, based on my research that really link uh, the importance of having a good dental health hygiene uh, in relation to having a good heart, hi uh, heart condition. Another study is, um, this is, is poor oral health a risk marker for incident cardiovascular disease hospitalization and all-cause mortality. Uh, this uh, study had 172,630 participants, you know, from the prospective 45 and up study, so 45 years old and above. So this uh, study investigate the relationship between oral health and incident hospitalization for ischemic heart disease or IHD, heart failure, ischemic stroke, and peripheral vascular disease and all-cause mortality or all-cause uh, death, you know, cause of death. So uh, <clears throat> this uh, study was made in Australia, men and women aged 45 years old and older. Uh, from 2006 to 2009 and they have baseline questionnaire link uh, to hospitalization and death up to December 2011 okay so study exposures include tooth and lo uh, tooth loss and self-rated health of teeth and gums at baseline okay so let's see what did they find out uh, they concluded in this study that tooth loss and to a lesser extent a self-rated health of teeth and gums are markers for increased risk of ischemic heart disease, peripheral vascular disease, and all-cause mortality. Tooth loss is also a marker for increased risk of heart failure and this is um, you can access this information from this research study. This is the link. This is the reference uh, for all those studies that I have cited. All right, guys. So I hope that was an eye-opening for all of us that um, oral health, dental health, is not only to have fresh breath and not to have any tooth decay, not just for appearance, 
but also the dental health affects our heart it affects our blood vessels so this has been uh, studied uh, you know with the research studies that I presented to you and there are many more out there in the internet if you want to explore that uh, they say one of the comments uh, that I saw uh, in this study is that in general people who have good dental hygiene are uh, in a high concern about their health they're taking good care or seriously uh, their health uh, so there's like a direct link uh, between uh, good dental hygiene and good heart or cardiovascular health it's either that or some people that I know were traumatized by dentists you know a bad dental experience in the past they don't want to go back and have their teeth done uh, and so you know there there are dental problems uh, but uh, the best thing to do is to ask your friends or your relatives someone you know uh, who can refer you to a trusted good kind-hearted professional dentist uh, who will really care about your dental health and not just up uh, to your money uh, so and you have to really take care of the dental aspect because again it just doesn't affect the mouth it affects the heart it affects the uh, blood vessels okay so i hope this is uh, beneficial for you please share this to your friends to your families anyone you know who will benefit from this uh, video and the other videos of just upright i really want to boost the channel so that we can help as many people as we can around the world as much as we can if you have any comments suggested videos you know discussion that you want uh, us to get going just make comments below don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the share share this channel in your social media thank you so much for watching and stay blessed thank you so much for watching Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button below to be updated with the latest video releases. Share this channel to other people you know who will benefit from Just Upright videos. Thank you again and stay blessed!